edges to book margin, you will be surprised to know that some designs actually serve a purpose, presenting common things with hidden features that we all fail to notice. Grooves on coin edges appeared in the early 16th century when coins were made with valuable metals. People would often cut off small amounts of precious metal from coins. To stop this practice, a special process was introduced. It consisted of carving grooves on the edges of coins so that it would be easy to see if a coin had been tampered with. No one clips coins nowadays, but these grooves remain a tradition. Stripes on headphone jacks All headphone jacks had two or three stripes on them. There are wires going to both headphones from every stripe, and the number of bands indicate which end goes where. Three bands equate to one band per left and right ear. The third band for grounding can be plugged into an amplifier. Two bands indicate the end for a device. The first golf balls were absolutely smooth. However, golf players slowly realized that the balls with the best properties were the old and cracked ones. So they kept using the same old balls for years. Manufacturers noticed this tendency and started producing artificially aged dimpled balls. Originally, margins were not for teachers. The truth is that books in the past often fell victim to mice and rats. They would nibble on paper. In order not to let the rodents eat parts of information along with the paper, people started to leave empty spaces at the edges where damage was most likely to occur. Now we have drawn margin lines. A lot of denim jeans come with a tiny extra pocket inside. While millions of people have found thousands of different uses from cash to lip balms, this small pocket was actually designed for a very specific item, the pocket watch. Jeans were often worn by gold miners in California in the mid 1800s and an important item they kept in them was the pocket watch which was generally delicate. The tiny pocket would protect their expensive pocket watches by keeping it safely tucked into place. The spare piece of clothing isn't there to only patch up clothes. The real purpose of the fabric is for you to test out your cleaning products on to make sure that they won't ruin the material or its color. If you pay closer attention to the gas indicator light in your vehicle, you might notice that there is an arrow next to the pump. That arrow indicates which side your fuel tank is on. Did you know that your stapler has settings? This metal plate is called an anvil and if you turn your stapler upside down, you can adjust it by spinning the wheel until it lines up with a seemingly random hole in the metal plate. This setting is for a temporary staple and will guide the arms of your staple outward instead of inwards, making it easier to pull out the staple later. As kids, we all were excited when we finished our lollipop and turned the plastic stick into a whistle. The hole in the stick also has another function. When the hot melted candy is poured into the stick in the factory, some of it flows into the hole and hardens. It keeps the candy on the stick instead of falling off. The plastic lids on disposable cups keeps your drink inside the cup. Not just that, but when you are ready to sip your drink, the lid has specific ridges that can allow it to work as a coaster. Lids are manufactured with this function in mind and each size fits the corresponding cup space. The small opening at the bottom of the window actually serves two purposes. First, it allows air flow through to keep from too much pressure building in the plane and busting the window as it rises in altitude. And second, it is a clever way to keep the windows from fogging up with all the warm breath of the passengers. We were all told that the blue erased pen ink. Sadly, this was a lie. But the opposite sides of these erasers actually serve a purpose. The colored end of a two-tone eraser 
allows you to erase pencil markings from different types of artist's paper that are more sensitive to friction and easily tear when a regular eraser is used on them. Converse shoes have extra holes near the tops. We thought this was for ventilation, but there are holes for your shoelaces too. Many people think they are unnecessary, but these holes were designed so that a runner could lace their shoes in a lot of ways. This would give them the customized support they needed while running. F and J are the home keys where your index fingers should rest for the most efficient typing. These raised bumps help your index fingers find their way back to the home position without having to take your eyes off of the computer screen. Have you ever noticed a tiny hole under a padlock? If there isn't one, the lock should only be used indoors. This is because in addition to being an opening to apply lubrication to the lock so it doesn't get stuck, it also doubles as a drainage hole in case of extended water exposure.